David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around Texas looking for delicious restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a new Tex-Mex restaurant serving up Akiyushi fajitas. The meat, it just melts. It's like meat butter. It's just goodness. Plus, we go inside a new modern Italian restaurant at the rim. We got the cheese on top, polenta on the bottom, meatball, that's the bite. And I introduce you to a food truck serving up my favorite bite of the month. Give me some love. Bam! Give me some foot, too. <laughs> bam! That's a double bam. That is so good. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's foodie adventure is at a Hill Country Bistro serving up outrageous steaks. Now we're here in Comfort, Texas to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up a killer steak, plus they have a really nice beer and wine selection. Let's go inside Food for the Soul Bistro. Joining me now is Kathy Asher. She's one of the owners out here for Food for the Soul. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you for coming. So much great food in front of us, but the property is breathtaking. When you come out here to Comfort, I mean, you guys have one of the top gardens in the city. Yes, in fact, we just won an award for it today. <laughs> you, did. you actually just got notified. And when you walk up, I mean, it was like a butterfly paradise out yeah. there. It's spectacular. But you don't just come out here for the garden. It's also the live music, but the food is where it's at. So talk to me about some of the stuff in front of us. Like, what's the inspiration behind it, and where do these recipes come from? Well, the recipes are all pretty much my husband. His cousin opened up a place in Comfort and asked us if we wanted to open a restaurant, and we said yes. And so in August, we learned about it, and we opened up November 1st of 2018. Going on three years this year, and you guys have some of the top food in the area. The Reuben sandwich is super popular, but talk to me about what makes it special. What makes it special is that we smoke our pastrami. We smoke it for probably 18 hours. I'm gonna give it a bite. So Reuben sandwich is probably one of my favorite sandwiches ever created in the world. <laughs> You get the sauerkraut, the smoked pastrami on there. And the homemade chips. Oh, homemade chips on the side, and then the rye bread. Here we go, that's the bite. Mm. Give me some love. Woo! That is delicious. If you love Reuben sandwiches, you have to come out here to Food for the Soul Bistro in Comfort. I mean, this sandwich is loaded with sauerkraut, smoked pastrami on the inside as well, toasted bread on the outside. It is a great bite, and it comes with their homemade chips on the side. The amount of sauerkraut that you have on the inside of this sandwich, it really adds a nice brightness to it. I mean, you guys loaded this thing up. That's our standard sandwich. That's a standard sandwich. So if you're hungry, you order the Reuben, and this is just one half of it, it's gonna fill you up, it's gonna be delicious. This ribeye is quite possibly one of the largest ribeyes I've ever seen in my life. Why so big? It's a plate filler. We have a lot of people that want to split the filet which is perfectly fine with us, but we have a lot of people that just eat it on their own. We get all of our meat from Alamo Meat Market. My husband or Deanna hand cut all of our fillets and our ribeyes, they hand cut all of our meat. Every steak you get is going to be an inch and a half thick and it's going to have a lot of flavor. We wow. put a cowboy butter on top of it, baked potato and our vegetables. Our vegetables change every week, our desserts change every week. Cowboy butter on top, potato on the side, veggies that rotate, only on Friday nights out here. Cheers. Woo! That is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The Alamo Meat Market provides the steaks out here for Food for the Soul Bistro, and these steaks are top notch. And the way that they're seasoning them and cooking them out here is just unmatched, especially in this area. Those ribeyes are monsters, like the size of a baseball mitt, seasoned perfectly on the outside, and the way they're cooking it it comes out to your table the right temperature every time. The filet wrapped in bacon as well. I mean, it comes out with that baked potato on the side, seasonal veggies rotated out on the menu. I mean, this thing is killer. If you want to do steak night on a Friday, make a reservation out here, this is a fantastic place to try. We're pretty known for our bread pudding. I actually started making it before I had ever eaten it. 
We get a lot of compliments on our bread pudding. The way you wrap it up out here at Food for the Soul, you gotta have the dessert. The bread pudding, fresh out of the oven, it's actually warm on my fingers right now. I don't know why I'm holding it, but I'm gonna put it back down. But thank you so much for having us out here. Friday nights are steak nights. You need to make a reservation, so make sure you can get the filet or any of the ribeyes, anything like that. You wanna get the potato on the side, live music outside as well on the weekends. Great wine bar. Also beer selections back there as well. You can come relax. This is a cool spot. Thank I'm you coming back for that ribeye. I'm yeah. telling you right right now, that is a baseball mitt size ribeye. And let's try this one out here, your All dessert. Right. Save room for this guy. And cheers to you. Here Food you for the soul and comfort. This is where it's at. Wow. That is incredible. Now, we're cruising to a new Tex-Mex spot in the Alamo City. Now we're here in San Antonio, Texas to go inside of a new Mexican restaurant that's serving, get this, Akiyushi fajitas. Let's go inside Sabor del Pueblo. Joining me now is Miguel Jorge. He is the general manager out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us uh, out thank here. Thank you for coming. And everything looks fantastic. It's so colorful, it's vibrant. Your fajitas, though, are unlike other fajitas in the city of San Antonio. Talk to me about what makes them special. Exactly, because we have the Akauchi fajitas, and we are the only restaurant in San Antonio that has it right now. It's a Japanese kettle. The, the meat's really tender. Like, you bite it, and it melts in your mouth, literally. All right, we're doing it. Get a tortilla with me here. <laughs> Let's we're do it. We're going in. All right, Akauchi <laughs> fajitas is something, I mean, fajitas are already so tender. They're marinated. They get all that grilling, the searing on the outside. But now you've stepped it up to the next level. You've added in that marble tender fat. I mean, this is going to be off the chain. I'm going to, I'm going to go in here. Put some of the, the bell peppers on here as well. Yeah, it's part of the flavor. It's part of the flavor. Exactly. <laughs> I want to dip it. it. I'm going to dip it in some of the sauce on the side. But check <laughs> that out. Akiyushi, this is where it's at. Fajitas, cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. <laughs> The Akiyushi fajitas are nice and tender, seared on the outside. Wrap them up in a tortilla with some of the bell peppers, guacamole, pico de gallo. It's the perfect bite. The guacamole that's on top too, the pico de gallo, it's that acidity and the brightness that you want. The tortillas are nice as well, but the meat, it just melts. Yeah, like I was telling you. It's like, meat, it's like meat butter. It's just goodness. Chili quillas. I mean, what? Classic. Exactly, and those are real chili quillas. As you can yeah. see, like a lot of places here, they do chilaquiles with the egg, uh, right. all mixed up. Those are Tex-Mex chilaquiles. Right. Like if you go to Mexico City and you ask for chilaquiles, they're gonna give you your chips, mix with the sauce, queso fresco, crema, cilantro, and the eggs on the side. <laughs> That's the way it is. Exactly. All right, well <laughs> dig in here with me. Let's do this. Cheers. There, there go. we go. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. That sauce, the green sauce. That's fantastic. <laughs> the crunch on those chips as well, nice and fresh. But it's all about the crema that's on there, man. That is really setting it off. It adds that nice little bit of creaminess that you want. Mm -hmm. Beans on the side, the queso fresco is really gonna add that a little bit of like punch that you want as well. Yes. It's Every actually the salt that you want on the dish, right? Yes, because everything like adds like goes together. Pork chop, huevos rancheros, right? Correct. It's gonna be our French cut pork chop and our huevos rancheros. Uh, that's one of my favorite brunch items, actually. <laughs> yeah. Two eggs, beans, you got the little papas on the side as well, and the pork chop. Now, I would share with you on this one, buddy, but I'm gonna try this myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the bite right here. Oh, baby. Woo! That is a good pork chop. That, that, that. Mm. Great pork chop. Nice and tender, seared on the outside so nicely, great flavors. The sauce actually on there, the huevo ranchero, the, the sauce, it's so good, it's so flavorful. And you can actually taste a little bit of the like tomato, a little bit of the spice, all in one bite. Beans are nice, the buffets are cooked really nice as well. I mean, this is just a really nice, it's a lot of food. It is a lot of food. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I order and I don't finish it. Like, yeah, I of course imagine. I go for the pork chop first, yeah. and then I go for the eggs, then maybe I leave the potatoes, but I always have to eat my beans. That is a killer brunch <laughs> item. <laughs> Nogada actually originated in Puebla after the Mexican independence. So some nuns created this dish. As you can see, it has the red, the white, 
and the green yeah. of the Mexican flag. So it has a little bit of meat. It has a fruit inside, like a pear, apple, uh, plantains, and on top is gonna be a walnut sauce with some uh, pomegranate seeds and cilantro. And a partridge in a pear tree. And the whole kitchen sink. Everything. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Grab your fork with me, we're going in. It's my favorite dish. Oh, nice. Out of okay. everything, this is my favorite dish. I'm so excited. Like, right. I eat it every day and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> That's the bite. Chili San Ogala. Mm. Wow. What I always really appreciate about this dish is its sweetness. It mm -hmm. almost tastes like dessert, right? Exactly. It, but then it has the savoriness that you want in there. It has the protein. And it all comes together. The pomegranate just steps, like kicks it off. Yeah, that's the, that's the last thing you taste. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Such a classic dish. You have the fajitas, the chiliquillas, the chili nogada. I mean, just great examples of authentic dishes that you can get out here. But you also have brunch items. Talk to me about your brunch. So in brunch, we have our like mimosas, but we have a lot of flavor. We have pineapple, we have cranberry, we have mango, and of course, your original one. Yeah. Here at Sabor de Pueblo, you can get a White Claw Gummy Rita. It is only found here. It has a margarita base, a little bit of chamoy in there, watermelon schnapps. It also has a shot of vodka, and then they dump over the White Claw on top. It's got all kinds of fruit, the gummies on there. It has the chamoy stick as well. I mean, this thing is just loaded to the top, and this one is absolutely Instagrammable. Now, if you're feeling extra hungry, you have a plate that's just loaded with like everything out of the kitchen. Talk to me about what's going on here. So we are going to have a platillo mexicano, which has one cheese enchilada, a beef crispy taco, and a chicken chalupa, your rice, your beans, your two tortillas on the side. If you're hungry, that's the way to go. And I want to grab some of this enchilada right here, a little bit of the rice and beans. Because for me, like a, a Mexican restaurant, a Tex-Mex spot, it's only as good as it's rice and beans, right? Yes, that's, that's the first thing you have to try. These are the cheese enchiladas. Oh, man. Oh, bro, that's good. Mm. The cheese is the right amount of cheese, nice and melty, gooey. The beans have a lot of flavor to them just by themselves as well. The rice is nice and fluffy. You got a little bit of the veggies in there as well. I mean, that's a really nice presentation. That's a lot of food. That is a lot of food. <laughs> Most of the people don't finish it. Oh, I bet. If you want a little bit of everything and you're feeling extra hungry, you got to get the Mexican plate, a tostada, the taco, the enchilada that's on there as well. You can even get a tortilla and just kind of wrap it all together and just make your own thing out of it. It is so good, nice and gooey. And like I said, you got to come hungry for this one. This is the churros right here. And you also make these in-house nice and fresh. I'm going to grab this guy right there. If you want to grab one with me. Let's do this. I like the strawberry in the bottom. Oh, so there you go. Grab the one in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I love strawberry. And then the cajeta. Yeah, the cajeta on the side. I mean, this is where it's at. Cheers mm, to you. Cheers. You guys, this restaurant right here, it's a new spot in San Antonio, Sabor de Pueblo. This is awesome food. It's delicious. <laughs> so I got a head, sorry. <laughs> and they also have lots of cocktails on the menu, a great brunch spot as well. I mean, you come out here for dinner, you have some authentic food. You also have some Tex-Mex favorites with a twist. It's a great spot. Okay, now I'm gonna have to dip it again, my little churro fell. Let's right, do it. That's the bite. <laughs> Coming up later on Texas Eats, I take you inside a Mexican food truck serving up my favorite bite of the month. Give me some love. Bam! Give me some foot too. <laughs> bam! That's a double bam. That is so good. And next, we check out a classic Indian restaurant in SA with an amazing buffet. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in San Antonio, Texas to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up authentic Northern Indian cuisine. Let's go inside India Oven. Joining me now is owner Goga Basi. Thank you so much for having us out here. This is such a classic restaurant in San Antonio. You know, this is actually uh, one of my wife's most favorite restaurants in San Antonio. And all the food was always a hit. I mean, you've had the buffet going now for, for years, and it's always just been like out of the park delicious. Do you have a secret as to how you keep that consistency up? It's, it's owned by our family. My dad used to be a chef here, and he has been cooking for like more than 40, 50 years. And he trained my husband, Jesse, 
and my husband is a main cook here and whenever we do hire people we give give them our own training it's our own recipe for more than 50 years wow all the food in front of us these are like your big hit dishes right i want to start right here because this one looks pretty uh, like straightforward um, this one doesn't have any sauce on it, but talk to me about which one this dish is. That's called reshmi chicken. It's cooked in a clay oven. It kind of gives you that charcoal flavor. This is the reshmi chicken. Here's the bite. Mm. The grill flavor that's on the outside of the chicken is a really nice contrast, the acidity and the brightness from that marinade that's on there. But the yogurt and the lemon, everything is in there to break down those proteins and make this a super delicious tender bite of chicken that everybody's gonna love. Something that people always grab for when they come to your buffets is the naan, right? It's a North Indian cuisine uh, recipe, but uh, our, we have some our own twist. You have to have the naan on the table when you're eating Indian cuisine because it's just kind of your vehicle to kind of soak up all the flavors. This protein right here is lamb, right? Yes. And what, what preparation is that? It is uh, also cooked in the clay oven. Rack, rack of lamb is also marinated in the yogurt. A little bit of vinegar and lemon juice salt and pepper, and some Indian spices like a garlic and ginger in it. Mm. Oh, look at that. Nice cook And it's on tender and juicy. Here's the bite. Here's the rack of lime out of the clay oven. Oh, wow. <laughs> really, really good. The lamb shanks are super delicious, marinated overnight, and they have a really good flavor on the outside as well. And they're locking in all those juices in the inside of the meat by searing the outside. Great grilled flavor as well. I mean, if you love lamb or you've never tried it, this is the one to try. The lamb is absolutely delicious. And in front of it, you actually have three different entree items as well. And talk to me about each one. So the first one is aloo gobi. It is cauliflower and potatoes. It has uh, ginger and garlic and cooked with the tomato-based sauce. This one also gives you protein. It's a homemade cheese. It's a homemade cheese made fresh mm -hmm. and uh, sauteed with the onions, bell pepper. And that is everybody's favorite. It's called chicken tikka masala. That's a chicken cooked in a clay oven first, just like this chicken, mm -hmm. but it's a boneless and you, uh, that's everybody who comes at the first time, they always love this chicken tikka masala. It's everybody's favorite. This is the one to try this then. The that's the bite. A popular, authentic dish that you can get out here at India Oven is the chicken tikka masala. And the way that they're making it out here, it's super savory, it's creamy, it's delicious. And use some of that naan bread that they're making in-house as well with the fresh garlic on there. It's like the perfect flavor combination, and it's absolutely addicting. Wow. Give us some elbow. Pink. That is so good. The buffet out here at India Oven is super delicious and it has a lot of variety in there. So if you're trying Indian cuisine for the first time, this is a really good opportunity to see what you like. But if you also love Indian cuisine, it's a great opportunity to come out here and just eat everything. The lamb, the chicken, the entrees in the front here, the chicken on the side, it's just delicious and it's so good. And it's, it, it is a testament to why you guys are so successful here. You guys, India Oven, it is absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we go inside a new modern Italian restaurant at the Rim. We got the cheese on top, polenta on the bottom, meatball, that's the bite. And next, I take you inside a Mexican food truck serving up my favorite bite of the month. Give me some love. Bam! Give me some foot too. <laughs> bam! That's a double bam. That is so good. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in San Antonio, Texas, right near the airport to go inside of a Mexican food truck that's serving up all kinds of delicious food. Let's check out what's on the menu at Naco Mexican Food Truck. Joining me now is Lizette Martinez. She's the co-owner out here at Naco, and thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you so much for coming. This food truck is so popular in the San Antonio area. You're very close to the San Antonio airport. In fact, you'll hear some airplanes going over us right here. Yeah. But I mean, this is the spot to come to. How did all these recipes, how did this all start? Well, it started back in Mexico City. My husband and I lived there. We decided to come back to the United States. I was born here at the border, and uh, we come over and he's a federal crime lawyer coming over, his credits don't transfer, and he says, don't worry, I'll sell tacos in a corner and we'll make a living out of it. And here we are, selling tacos <laughs> in a corner. 
and making a living out of it. And there you go. <laughs> you also have tortas on the menu as yes. well. Talk to me about this one right here. Well, that torta right there has a Mexican brisket. The Mexican brisket, it's actually my father's recipe. Uh, we brought it from there and honestly, I'm not the one to say, but my husband cooks it better than him. Don't tell him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no, you go over here just throwing, throwing words around. <laughs> All right, this right here, this is the Mexican brisket torta yeah. shredded, cooked low and slow. It is hot still, y'all. I'm going in for the bite. There we go. I'll go for this corner. Oh my goodness. Woo! Oh, that's delicious. Give me some love. Man, give me some foot too. <laughs> bam! That's a double bam. That is so good. It has a lot of flavor. Mm. It has a lot of flavor in it. It is a It has almost like a, a tomato kind of vibe to it. And yeah. uh, it's so bright. The acidity that you're getting off that tomato it just makes the whole thing a lot more savory as well. It really balances out with that saltiness that's on there. It's shredded, it's tender, it's delicious. The cheese is killer. It's I love that. It's cheese, yeah. Yes. It's the chihuahua oh cheese, just simple cheese. I know. Yeah. Avocado's nice and creamy. This is by far my favorite shredded brisket I've ever had in my life. Thank you. This is huge. This is delicious. Cheers to you. Cheers. You guys, Naco Mexican food truck. It's right here on 410 in Nacogdoches. Come out here, give it a try. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> She's already going for it. I'm gonna go for my bite. Keto tacos, chili quias, a little bit of everything. The tortas, I mean the brisket, change your life. It's probably the best thing I've ever had. It's so good. And this is the bite, the chili quias taco. Mm -hmm. And that one has pastor in it. Oh my God. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in San Antonio, Texas to go inside of a new restaurant that's serving up all kinds of modern Italian cuisine. Let's go inside North Italia. <music> Joining me now is regional manager Kevin Brown. Thank you so much for having us out here. Yeah, thanks for being here. North Italia. It's brand new to San Antonio, but it is not a new concept. It's actually been around for a while, right? It's not, yeah, we're actually celebrating our 20th year next year, uh, so we're excited about that. Uh, but yeah, we've been open for a few months here in the Rim. Uh, it's our sixth location in Texas. Uh, we have 27 around the country uh, and wow. looking to open a few more uh, here in 2021. Why Italian food? Why, why was this concept started? Uh, you know, we, we really felt that uh, we could bring a little bit something unique to the market. Uh, we are not traditional Italian, although do we have some traditional dishes on the menu, uh, but really kind of want to make it uh, modern. And so we uh, we started in Scottsdale and, and uh, you know, even though it says north, it has nothing to do with northern <laughs> northern Italy cuisine. So those diehard Italians, please don't don't judge the menu by the name. Don't, yeah, just just come out here and have fun. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like an updated, elevated, modern approach to Italian cuisine. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us out here. We got our glasses of wine. We got a chef board right in front of us. Now we're gonna go inside, talk with the chef, and learn more about the dishes that they're serving up on the menu. Joining me now is executive chef Shawnee Severns. Thank you so much for having us out yes. here. Right in front of us, a lot of different food that you can get when you come visit the restaurant. Chef, how long have you been cooking? Uh, so I've been cooking for about probably about 12, 15 years now. Uh, I started like most people in the dish dish area and worked my way up. Just couldn't get my hands out of it. I wanted to prep and I wanted to, the hotline was very intriguing and I did some time in pastries and- I like how you said, yeah, I did some time. I did some time. <laughs> I did That's some, what kitchens are, I man. did some I did time, time in pastries. I <laughs> love it. Time. This woman was calling my name. You brought this yeah. thing out of the kitchen. I was like, I could smell this thing from a mile away. What's going on with this? Uh, so this is obviously one of our most popular dishes. It's kind of our play uh, on a garlic bread, if you will. So we use our, again, our house ciabatta bread. Uh, we put some garlic butter on it and kind of toss it, toss it in there with some mozzarella cheese and bake it with truffle oil on it. Oh. Uh, and then we top it with house-made truffle ricotta, mm -hmm. uh, some herbs and grana padana cheese. I just want to get some of that sauce, get some of the bread. Yeah, definitely want to get some of that ricotta I don't want to take too much. Oh my gosh, look at that. Cheers to you, chef. Cheers. All right, that's the bite. The truffle bread is absolutely delicious. The ricotta cheese is nice and creamy, toasted on the outside. The amount of truffle flavor that's in there that they're using is very light and it's a good blend because you have that garlic in there, the creaminess from the ricotta, the crunchiness of the bread. Overall, you take a bite, you fall in love. It's cheesy, it's gooey, it's creamy, it's crunchy, and the truffle is just that extra little notch of flavor that yep. you want. That is really nice. 
Talk to me about the meatballs right there. Those look excellent. So this is another small plate of ours. It's our Italian meatballs. They're uh, all beef. Um, we serve it on top of a uh, white polenta that we use marscapone cheese and um, grana padana in as well. So it's nice and rich. Uh, the meatball itself has shallots, plenty of herbs, cheese. Uh, we, we bring it together with a panade and then we top it with grana padana and our house marinara. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Nice and tender. That's the bite. Oh, wow. Give me some love. Woo! That's a weird. One of the starter dishes that you can get when you come out to North Italia is the meatballs. And these meatballs come in a set of three and they're extremely delicate. And you can tell they're not overworked in the kitchen. All the flavors on there are really nice. Served on a bed of polenta, a little bit of sauce, Parmesan shaved cheese on top. I mean, the seasonings, the saltiness, everything that you want from good Italian food, this is what you get. This is our, our classic uh, take on bolognese. Uh, we use a tagliatelle noodle that we, we extrude all of this in-house. We take a mix of Italian sausage, ground beef, and we uh, take our prosciutto scraps and kind of grind it up in there as well. It probably cooks for about 12 hours, that sauce, uh, and then we bring it together with some of our tomato sauce and, and burrafuso. It's like a butter sauce that mm -hmm. makes it nice and creamy and, and acidic. So this is our squid ink mafaldine. Uh, mafaldine is the shape of the actual pasta itself. It's got squid, uh, squid tentacles, it has uh, shrimp, and then our aquapazza sauce, which has a nice spice to it. But the classic item, when you think of Italian food, it's gotta be pizza. That's the one you yeah. think of, right? Absolutely. Now, all the pizzas that you make are to order, but talk to me about this one right here. So we make all our dough in-house, too, so that's uh, we take a lot of pride in that. This is, uh, this is our margarita. Okay. Um, so it's fresh mozzarella, uh, our house-made pizza sauce, we top it off with fresh basil, uh, olive oil, and grana padana cheese. Pretty simple, classic pizza. North Italia out here near the rim. I mean, this is where it's at. Cheers to you, chef. Cheers there. You've got to come out here, get a taste of Italian cuisine. You could start with the wine, get your chef's board, and move it all through. You get the small bites, the big pizzas, everything you want. I'm going to take a bite of this pizza now. Oh, that's money. Woo! I'm going to take this and this. I'm going to get going. There Cheers you to you. Cheers. North Italia, it was good. <laughs> Coming up later on Texas Eats, we pair up Shiner Bot beer with Texas barbecue. And next, we check out a must visit restaurant in Georgetown. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Georgetown, Texas to go inside of a restaurant that's got a little bit of Tex-Mex food and a whole lot of comfort food. Let's go inside Blue Corn Harvest. Joining me now is Santos Garcia. He is a co-owner and chef out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you for being here. Right in front of us, we have a little bit of everything, the top dishes on the menu. This one right here though, this is like oyster shooters, right? And this is a pretty popular item. That's real popular item, you know, light fry and real, I mean, with the mango, the slop, lime, everything, real refreshing, especially now with the, with the summer, that's perfect. Perfect appetite. We got a mild summer this year in yeah. Texas, but I tell you what, it's still gonna be delicious with some oyster shooters. All right, so get one with me here. And cheers to you. Cheers. Little blue corn tortilla chip as well. That's the bite. Mm. Is this the whole thing? Oh, it's, it's real, real fast. <laughs> The starter that you have to get when you come out here is the oyster shooter dish. This thing is loaded up with all kinds of flavor, a little bit of crunch on the outside of the oysters, blue corn tortilla chips, a little bit of pico on there, a little bit of fruit flavor, so you get some sweet, some salty, and a lot of crunch. I gotta try this steak. This thing's calling my name. What's on top of that? It's a chipotle cream sauce with drizzle with the sour cream and all that combination with the seasoning on the steak. Oh. It's all uh, party in your mouth. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> party in your party mouth. There your you mouth. go. Cheers to you. Cheers. All right, the Chipotle right. ribeye. If you're looking for a steak option out here in Georgetown, you got to come out here to Blue Corn Harvest. They have a delicious chipotle ribeye. has all kinds of cream on top, chipotle sauce, potatoes, veggies on the side as well. But the seasoning on the outside of the steak and the way that they're preparing it out here, it's just unbeatable. Veggies on the side too, so you don't feel as guilty, right? You feel a little healthy on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
The chicken dish you don't see every day, it's actually stuffed with blue crab. You know, we combine uh, the cheese, the peppers, the cayenne cream sauce, we put it on the yeah. top. That's another party right there. <laughs> it's all about the parties out here, it's man. About you got a lot of parties out here. You're going to be a regular on the show. I'm going to come back and get Santos out here, there man. You, you take my kind of bites. There, there you go. go. This is sure. the blue crab stuffed chicken. The blue crab stuffed chicken is the surf and turf dish you didn't know that you need to try. You have some cheese on the inside, the blue crab, then on the outside, it's marinated chicken, grilled to perfection, and then you have a little bit of veggies on there as well, some peppers. This is a really great bite, and like I said, if you're looking for something different, this is the one to get. Who would have thought, right? I mean, you get the blue crab and the chicken together. It's like a, it's like a funky surf and turf that works exactly, really yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> This is like a salmon dish, but not your average salmon, right? We use uh, organic blue corn meal. So we put it on top and, you know, do some tomatillo bourbon, blanc, veggies, and, and uh, again, we use the cheddar potato cake. Okay? That gives a real good combination with the veggies, the lightness of the fish. So, you know, it's another party in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cheers, cheers to salmon. Here we go. The blue cornmeal on the outside of the salmon gives a really nice crispy texture, and the inside is nice and flaky and tender. Plus, you can get veggies, some potatoes on the side. It is a really tasty dish, and you also get this little crispy piece of cheese on there. Who doesn't love crispy cheese? That is a stacked plate. Y'all don't play. I mean, all of these are big dishes, man. <laughs> This right there, though, wrap it up. You got to save room for dessert. What's going on with the dessert? So we have here a, a peanut butter peanut butter pie. You know, there is it with some uh, a chocolate and uh, uh, anglaise on, on top, whipping cream. Hmm. Again, you know, it's a real, real good light dessert. I mean, it's say it, it's, say it for me. It's, right? It's, it's another party on your hey, so There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is yes, how you wrap so. up your meal. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much for okay. having us out here, you guys. Blue corn out here in Georgetown. Uh, starting from this, the starters, the appetizers, all the way to the entrees, desserts, the cocktails. It, it's just a home run in every bite. But here we go. That's the dessert. Mm. Mm. That was great, man. And next, we pair up Shiner Bot beer with Texas barbecue. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in San Antonio, Texas, on a mission to find great food that pairs perfectly with Shiner Bach beer. And that's why we're out here today at Smoke Shack Barbecue. Let's go check it out. Now we're inside Smoke Shack. Joining me right here, Chris Conger, the owner, and right in front of us, some delicious barbecue sandwiches, a new sandwich, new sandwich. and Shiner beer. Because Shiner beer, barbecue, Texas, I mean, it just goes together, right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have a Shiner beer with your barbecue. That's right. Now, you got a regular Shiner. That's the original. I'm right here. I got the Shiner Light Blonde. Now, this is also this is kind of like a lighter version of the original Shiner. Plus, we have a sea salt and lime. For me, that's Dark the and barbecue <laughs> just go together. Bach and barbecue, there's a reason. They're both these. Cheers to you, sir. You gave us three sandwich options here and a tray of barbecue that you believe would pair really well. All right, this right here is a brisket grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm going to give it a bite. Talk to me about what's going on inside. Well, you know, that's what we're known for. That sandwich is what we're known for. We've had it on the menu since we started. Uh, you know, it's just chopped brisket, some good old American cheese, and some toasted Texas toast. The sandwich. Now here's the beer. I mean, it's just like it's like jelly and, and peanut butter, baby. That's just how it goes. You put it together. It's just delicious. The brisket grilled cheese out here at Smoke Shack is delicious. It's gooey, it's cheesy, and has that toasted bread on the outside, so it has a nice crunch as well. You drink some Shiner Bach beer with that, it's gonna be the ultimate combination. This is a reason why you guys are so popular, and this is the one to get when you come out here. This is a phenomenal sandwich. The chicken sandwich. Yeah. Talk to me about this one. So it's a we call it a Texas hot chicken derived from the Nashville hot chicken, but we call it that because we use a chili piquin 
uh, which is native to you know South Texas, Mexico. So we make the oil out of out of chili pekin. So the Texas hot chicken sandwich. Take a bite. Oh my god. The spicy chicken. I mean, that just calling for a beer, right? The chicken sandwich out here is nice, it's delicate, it's got a little bit of heat to it. So if you sip on some of this light blonde shiner beer while you're eating the sandwich, it's gonna help complement that spice. Overall though, I mean, the sandwich is just rocking by itself. And see this one, you get that little kick, a little bit of spice to it, but it's a lot of flavor. And the beer's just there to help it along. It's just kind of travel, it's a good vehicle for all these flavors, all the breading that you have. And that beer just pairs perfectly with it. The pickles, Absolutely insane too, man. I love the pickles. I do mm. too. And you have this new sandwich right here. What's this one? Yep, so this, we're doing brat dog. So we make our brats, our bratwurst, next door at the meat market. Uh, it being a German sausage, we thought, well, why not go with the German beer? And we actually put Scheinerbach into that brat uh, when we mix up the meat. So there's, there's Shiner in that link in there, and so, we just made a new sandwich for <laughs> for you and for you know all of our awesome customers. There you go. So, so it's the Brat Dog. Right here on Texas Eats, you're getting it. Smoke Shack right here off Broadway in San Antonio just came out with the Shiner Brat Dog. It looks phenomenal. I love the mix that's in there as well. You got a little bit of combo meat. Combo so. meat <laughs> and uh, we have our house made mustard sauce. I like it. Here we go. That's the bite. Oh wow. A new sandwich that's on the menu out here is their big dog that comes out with the Scheinerbach brat on there. You get some pulled pork on the bottom, caramelized onions, a little bit of barbecue sauce on there. So it's a little bit of sweet, a lot of savory, a great crunch because of the toasted bread. You drink some Shiner with it as well. It's like a Shiner dog, Shiner beer. It's just a great match. It's a, it got a nice little sweet bite to it. Yeah. The bread is super toasted, really nice. And then you have all the pulled pork in there as well. I mean, this is killer. This sure. is a really nice bite. And of course, you wash it all down with your Shiner when you're eating a Shiner Brat Dog. You might have to switch over to the dark one here for a sec. <laughs> Look at you, you're like, let me open this up for you. We could play, we could, we could try all of them. I gotta say, man, um, Texas barbecue and Shiner beer, it goes hand in hand, and you're showing it off right here why it is so delicious together. I mean, because you have great combinations right here in just the sandwiches, plus, all these things are gonna go with it. The sea salt and lime, the blonde, and of course the original bot. And you can also get a little bit of tastings. If you just get a barbecue tray, it's just gonna rock with your shiner beer. So. Cheers to you, sir. Thank you so much for having us Cheers, out here. Babe. Good to see you. Grab some brisket with me here. Chris oh, Conger out here at Smoke Shack right here off Broadway. If you're looking for a fun place in San Antonio to go to grab a shiner beer, whether it be the original or some different variations, this is a spot to stop. Cheers to you, sir. Cheers. Oh, wow. To go to all the delicious restaurants that you see here on Texas Eats, you have to have a reliable vehicle, and that's why we're out here today at Vic Vaughn Toyota of Bernie, and with me, as always, the deal maker, Chris Franklin. Yo, what's <laughs> up? Now, today we're out here. We're actually in the shade because, baby, it's still hot out here in it Texas. Is. It's August, baby. <laughs> But we want to know what kind of hot deals you have going on right now at Vic Vaughn Toyota Bernie. So, uh, they're extremely hot right now. Extremely, pss, ooh, ooh. You, you burn yourself on this one. <laughs> Are you ready? Because you're I not going to believe it. What deals are you going to burn yourself on? Okay, you're going to burn yourself on this deal right here. 2021 Camry on a lease, $89 a month. $89 a month for a 2021 Camry lease. That's a monthly rate right there. Of course, you can also come out, see what you qualify for if you want to go a different route as well. I mean, that's an insane price though. $89 a month. 89 bucks a month, you get it on a lease. It's the way to go, man. It's, it's the best deal we got right now. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information on all the restaurants, including a map, just go to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. And to get more information on all of the vehicles out here at Vic Vaughn Toyota of Bernie, just go to their website, toyotaverney.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at KSAT Texas Eats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats.